Oh, there we go. Rebecca, now is it up? Up and Adam? I will just start over, I guess. <laughs> I thought I'd done this really nice little spiel. Okay. That's what you get for a spur of the moment, huh? <laughs> Okay, I think so. I might just edit this out and I will, let's go to here. And I'm just going to start over in a minute, Rebecca. I'm going to move this where I just saw that the, let's see if we can get this camera adjusted. And I'm just going to cut this out of the video before I post it, hopefully. Yikes, I'm about to pull my cord out here. Which way does this need it? Yeah. Now you're getting to see the setup. Okay, we're gonna cut all this out before we put it on anywhere else. Okay, yeah, I had the, I didn't have myself added to the stream yet. So there you go, live and learn. Okay, and I have a lot more shadows today than I've had before. Not really knowing where that's coming from either, but oops, and that's gonna adjust that. So I just kind of didn't give myself quite enough time. Okay, I'm gonna start over for whoever's watching. Sorry about that. I didn't have myself adjusted right. So I will start over from scratch and we're gonna start here when I post the replay. Hi, I am Kelly Pitts, independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator since 2005 and I'm in Lubbock, Texas. I'm so excited to have you join me today. I don't know if you're watching on Facebook or YouTube or you're watching a replay, but I'm happy to have you. I really appreciate y'all watching and giving comments and letting me know who you are and where you're from. I'm excited to, to today to continue the series with the Country Floral Lane Suite, which has the Country Bouquet Bundle, and that's the stamp set and dies that we will be using today. And I'm having fits with my computer, so you're, you're just going to have to see me for some reason, um, it's trying to get me to sign in to iCloud all the time. It pops up every five minutes of Google password required and iCloud and all that. So <laughs> if you lose me to this morning, I do have somebody hopefully coming over to help me with that today so I can get that figured out. But if anybody's a pro at that and knows because I'm getting a, it kind of in a loop, it comes up on my watch. It, the, and it comes up on my phone. It comes up on the iPad. It comes up, even came up on my TV, <laughs> which I didn't even know was connected for me to put my Google password in. So anyway, I've put it in. I changed it and it should all be right. But I think the devices just somehow aren't communicating. <laughs> so forgive me for that. Hope y'all will stay tuned in and I'll show you how to make this cute little card. If you have any questions, I will try to watch the comments as we go. So just let me know what you think. Thanks again for tuning in and please leave a comment and let me know who you are and where you're from. Thanks again for tuning in. We're going to, we're so excited now the mini catalog is live. So you as customers can purchase items from the mini catalog and for every $50 out of the mini catalog or the annual, you can purchase out of either one. You'll be able to get a free item from the celebration brochure. And if you go to a hundred dollar level, then you are eligible for the level two item, which is for a hundred dollars. So that's a lot of fun. And I can explain these more in probably a separate video, but now we're, I'm going to show you some card making. So thanks again for tuning in. I'm going to switch this camera over and let's do, let's play with, Let's play with this one today and then we'll switch these two around there we go now for some reason i have a uh, lot more shadows than i've had before so i'm not sure i have not changed my lighting i have not changed one darn thing so <laughs> it must be just the way the the sunshine is or isn't today i don't know let's see if we can change this angle a little bit maybe not really helping. So I have all the lights in the room that I usually have on. I don't know. So hello from Queen Creek, Arizona. I'm glad you're here. Diane, yes, I did fix the that 
the part I had not allowed myself to come in. <laughs> if that makes sense, I hadn't added myself to the stream on StreamYard. Okay, we're getting our little packet ready. And several of we had seven of you sign up for the Country Floral Lane class to go. And this is one of the cards that is in that class to go. And really, we don't have to, we don't have to score that. Yeah, we'll go ahead and score it. We may have to redo it again after we do the embossing folder. But this is the card that we're making today. And I did find this fold, this idea on Julie Davison. I believe it's juliedavison.com. She, it was totally with a different stamp set. It's been a while back with the Rings of Nature set, but that's where I got the idea with the cute little border die to make the flap. And I think with this new cane weave embossing folder, I love that. Those of y'all who purchased the Country Floral Lane class are going to be getting a cane embossing folder with that class. So that's awesome. Okay, and I will have PDF instructions and all that for those of you. I will have a PDF for sale. And those of you in, who took the class and ordered the bundle through me, get it all for free. You get the class kit and the PDF tutorials. So if you're joining late, I did have an email this morning from somebody who was interested so if I have enough of the paper, I also did a paper share recently and I need to make sure, I think these are the same size. It's been a while since I've done this card. Nope, they're not three and four. Okay, so let's see, this opens up. Let me show you that. Ah, how cute is that? And it's using your piece of paper really well. These are kind of off cuts from one side of the paper. So let me figure out which side I use. That's the three inch. Okay. The three inch is what we're going to emboss and the top is three and a quarter. Yeah. Okay. All righty. So I'll get going, but you could of course change this. This could be a cute little get well card. It would be a great wedding card or anniversary card. Any of those, you could play with it and just change up your sentiment and be in good shape. We're going to, let's go ahead and glue this on, we said the three and a quarter side, measure that again, that's this top one, so we're going, let's just move that like that so we know how we want to glue it, and you could use Stampin' Seal, you can use your liquid glue, whatever, whatever makes you happy. I know everybody's kind of got their favorite glues, and I put my liquid into a little tip. What is it? Small tip, tiny tip, <laughs> reduced tip. I don't know. <laughs> little glue pouch, bottle. All right. And it doesn't take a ton of glue. If you've got a good liquid glue, if you use Tombow or if you have a favorite liquid glue, whatever it is, you don't need to put a whole ton like we used to. Remember when we were in school and doing that bunch of Elmer's glue and all that? You don't need that much. Might need a little more than this. Mine is not coming out very well. I'm going to try my other bottle in a minute. But we'll get that glued on. And this should cover the entire panel. And make sure you're doing it. with the, uh, that's why I like the liquid glue, it gives you a little bit of wiggle room. You can kind of fudge a little bit if you need to. Okay, I'm right up to that score line and then it should be fairly even on the edges and the bottom. It could, it can hang over a little bit. This one's hanging over just a little bit, but we're going to cut that anyway. So you make sure if you use a directional paper like this one, that you set it up like I did where you've got, you know that that's the top flap and this is the way you want it to face. So you get your designer series paper on there properly. This C is that card. Okay. Now let's get our, I was thinking I could use the small, the mini snap and cut and emboss machine, but it's gonna take the big one. So we're gonna get going with that. Let's go ahead since we're 
on the on this part I'm going to show you how I like it better from this side just depends if you're right-handed left-handed whatever you are which way you want to do it everything works okay we are going to use the basic borders dies and these are number one five 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 eight I can't get that under the camera very well one five 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 eight and I have used these a lot more than I thought I would really on several different cards they've got all these different borders and we're going to use this one that kind of looks like a rooftop or triangle and I've got some washi tape here we're going to tape this on and I'm going to cut this a little bit shorter than I want really because I want this little let me show you what I'm doing I'd like this little border in here that matches this this is what you're going to cut off so you will want to go this is how I'm lining it up I'm lining up the border dial right here toward the end of this sorry toward the end of that piece of paper so and then we're going to cut it again a little shorter but it's going to look better if you get it right in the middle give yourself a little bit of room here oops i should have had the washi tape in my hand first all right, we're going to just tape that on. And I forgot, it's better to put it on your hand or your clothes or something first and get a little bit of sticky off first. Could be too late on this one. Nope, okay. Sorry if you can't see that. I've got a lot in the camera here with the, <laughs> with the stamp and cut and emboss machine right here. Let's see if we can move that so you can see. You're going to have to be really careful because you have to do this sideways. Normally, you'd want to turn your die the other way, if at all possible, because you don't want to get this hung up in your machine. Let's see. There we go. Okay. We're going to make sure the both ends of this are inside. One of them's not sticking out where it's going to hang up on either side here, if that makes sense. All right. Crank that through. Sorry it's shaky, but we're on the same table. So that's the way it goes. How is your weather there in Queen, Ke Queen Creek, Arizona? <laughs> to you, Facebook user. Are y'all having pretty weather? We've kind of had a lot nicer weather here in Lubbock than we should expect for January. But I am certainly enjoying it. <laughs> I'm glad you other folks have joined. Diane, who's on my Stampin' Up! Create with Kelly Crew team. And Rebecca, who's new to my team. I'm glad to have y'all. Okay, whenever you're peeling the washi tape off, it's, I can't, let me see if I can do it left-handed so y'all can see on the camera, I guess. Peel it back onto itself to pull it off. You don't want to pull it straight up because it can tear the paper. So just to make sure you're not tearing the paper, do it this way. Let's see. I'm trying to see which way y'all can see. I'm right-handed, but can you see how I'm pulling it back flat where it keeps it flat onto itself? I'm not pulling straight up like this. I'm pulling back onto itself to get it off the paper. Okay, so we've cut that piece off and we're going to use that on the inside. Now we're going to go and we'll back that through there. And do this again. Give it a little more border. Because we want we want this to be a little shorter for it to fit right with those little labels. You've got to have this tuck in. That's why this part is three and a quarter and the bottom is three inches. You you gotta have room to cut this off and Also, uh, whoop, that's popping up. 
and have room to tuck it in your little clutch. It looks like a clutch purse to me when it's done like this, but you're going to tuck it in there where you've got the little heart. I'll show you again in a minute. Just make sure again that these are inside between your plates. It barely fits like this. So you don't want to mess up your machine or break your dies. Okay. Now we'll take that off. I'll try again. Hold this up. So you don't want to pull straight up like that. You want to turn the tape back down onto itself and pull it gently, gently that way. And if it ever does start pulling the paper, take it and pull the tape from the other end and try it that way. Don't just keep letting it tear. See how that works? Now we're going to have that little strip and hopefully our flap is going to be where we want it to be. Okay, now we're going to take the other end while we've got the stamp and cut and emboss machine, since it does both things, which is awesome. We're going to take out the clear plate, take out the number two plate that's for die cutting only. And this is a 3D embossing folder, the cane embossing folder, which I have not labeled and put the, put the item number on it yet, but one of y'all could do that if you want. Hi, Yvette. Nice to have you join from YouTube. Thanks for tuning in. I appreciate everybody who's who's tuned in, whether it's from Facebook or YouTube live or replay. Thanks so much. Great. If y'all have any questions, let me know. Okay, we're going to use the 3D embossing folder called Cane Weave. And we're going to put... <clears throat> another this is another way we're breaking the rules again <laughs> i'm a rebel <laughs> any of y'all rebels and go ahead you should always as many times as you can you should put the embossing folders in with the hinge first but in this case we can't do that unless you wanted to put a separate if you're really worried about following the rules exactly then you need to um put an extra piece of the balmy blue on here. You would emboss it separately, run it through the proper way, and then attach it to the front. But I just, I want the, the uh, embossing to go all the way through. So it shows on the inside of the card too, because I think that's part of what makes it pretty. So again, line this up exactly on the edges here. Make sure we've got this straight. And with this cane weave, you can kind of tell you should be able to tell with the straight line here. Let's see. Sorry, I left a comment up there and right your way. Where this line is straight, and then you can kind of tell with the cane weave pattern whether you've got this edge straight also. Then we're going to get it straight in the machine, add the 3D embossing plate. So you don't need either of the clear plates. You just need the gray plate on top of your folder. And you just, and we'll move this out of the way and watch the magic here. Let's look at this. Whoa! <laughs> Isn't that beautiful? Look at that. It is so textured. When they say 3D, they mean 3D. So it is just as beautiful on the inside. Of course, it's the opposite texture. It's debossed instead of embossed, but both are really pretty sides. So that's, I love it. Okay, now we can give that a good crease again with the bone folder. Oops, and we still have to do our dies. I'm going to have to get that back out. I got so excited getting that part done that I forgot about the labels that we need to do. We're going to cut out, this is one of the new stamps uh, die sets in the mini catalog. It's called Something Fancy Dies, and it's number 160424. And we're going to use these two, because I thought they looked just like a buckle on a purse, clutch purse. 
So I'll get that out of the way. We'll bring our, sorry about that peeps. Just a lot going on here, a lot to remember. <laughs> and I am not that focused. Okay. Now we've got our plate number one, our plate number two, a clear plate. And we're going to cut out both of these dies at once. We're going to cut a mint macaron and a basic white from a scrap. I'll probably save a little bit of that. And you don't want to put put them in where you've got a straight edge going across like this because it kind of makes a speed bump for your machine. It causes more wear and tear on your dies and your machine, which you don't want. So just anytime you can, just put them in at an angle. Okay. Got both of those. Now I think we're done, unless we might want to do, let's do one extra white one, just in case. And I'm doing that backwards instead of running it through and running it back through, a little less shaking for you, because the Stampin' Cut and Emboss machine will go either way, left to right or right to left, so that helps with you ambidextrous people or left-handed versus right-handed or whatever it'll work just great for you as will the mini that's a little bit smaller but it won't that doesn't accommodate all the size folders i've got to get a swig of water here real quick okay now we're going to get this switch this over and Make that bigger. And like I said, I have no idea why we've got all these shadows that I have not had before. Whoops, that didn't work. I apologize. I'll try to work on that. But I think it's been okay in the past. It just suddenly today started acting up. So we're going to do a little stamping and a little punching. We've got the country bouquet. This is the bundle that's part of the suite. Hi, Kelly Gary. I'm glad you liked your Christmas card. <laughs> Thanks for joining me from the Fredericksburg type area. I can't remember the actual town you're in, but I'm so glad you tuned in. Thank you much. All right. We have the country bouquet punch, and it goes with this photopolymer stamp set that we'll be using today on here and the punches are easy to use you just need to make sure it's you hold it really tightly together when you open it because if you try to open it and let it open itself while you're moving this lever you can really break your punch so close it tightly and then then put the catch on Keep it closed tightly. Hold on to it till you open the catch and then let it open. That's the best way to use your punches. All right. And we're going to just need one little pink heart for this. So you can run it however, however you want to to save a little paper. Just punch the little pink heart. Get rid of the scraps. And move right along. Okay. Now we're going to do a little stamping from this set. I have, I'm using the, this small heart. Here we have the card again. These two leaves, this small heart is all I'm stamping on here. And then on the inside, I'll be using this one and the Valentine's Day, all from the Country Bouquet Suite. All right. Set that aside. We'll use mint macaron ink for the leaves, and the blue is balmy blue. So we're going to do a little trick with the heart. 
and if y'all decide to split these up you can but I just, I left mine together on here. I went ahead and cut my leaves apart and I've kind of regretted that. So we'll see if I continue to regret it. But you can leave these together and then all we're gonna stamp is this part of the heart in blue. So we're just going to stamp just that heart onto some paper. And this already has some texture in it. It's not going to stamp perfectly solid. It's not intended to. This gives it some texture and some depth because it already has that little variation in there. Okay. So we've got that. And I'm just going to stick this in. This wastes a little. I should have gotten a smaller scrap of paper. Whoops. Sure enough. I should have. Okay, we're just going to cut that right there. You just kind of have to think about the way this is going to punch. So I knew I had a big scrap and I just thought, well, this is going to work, but heavens. Y'all are getting to show how to, how to fix things, right? <laughs> I should have shown y'all how to stamp that all at once and put it on the stamparatus and I just was not thinking that far ahead this morning. Okay, let's get a better piece. Okay, let's see if I can do all right. Let me show you. We're going to take time to do this. I was thinking I would just do it the fast way, but I may not. If I've got a full piece of paper. <laughs> Hang on a sec. No, I don't. I don't have everything handy. So I think we'll just, we'll continue to do it as best we can this way. So you're gonna see a lot of how to how to fix things <laughs> if they're not perfect for you. Where there's a will, there's a way. Okay, I'm just gonna use a post-it note, little label. We're gonna close the ink up before I get my hands in that. So if you've stamped it and you just really didn't pay attention like I didn't, <laughs> you can hopefully make a post-it note work. See, now I still have the leverage and can get it in there. Good grief. I'm cutting this off again to make this work. I really should just, okay, I'm going to jump up. Y'all just have to look at this card. How cute is that? Very pretty. I'm going to get another piece of paper that I can reach. Sorry about that. I just was not prepared. Okay, we're going to do this so we've got a stencil top thing. We've got a pattern. Okay, yay. Now, this is the way you ought to do it instead of trying to fix it like I did. <laughs> Make yourself a template. And then you can tell where to stamp these on your piece of paper. Okay, so what we're going to do is just lay this template over here. Get the blue heart again. <clears throat> yes, Rebecca, I'm, I know you're excited to get that. You'll have it soon, and you've got a lot of stuff you got for Christmas. Rebecca just joined us, joined my team, and ordered her starter kit. They're doing a great join kit, right? A join special right now where you can choose to get a mini stamp and cut and emboss machine with your starter kit 
and it only really adds an extra thirty dollars to your kit and it's a much more much higher value than that i don't have in my head exactly what that value is but you get 175 dollars worth of product and you get the stamp and cut and emboss machine for $125 is the join special, I believe, or $135. Ah, I need to look at it. It just went live, and Rebecca signed up on practically the first day. So <laughs> that's very exciting. I can actually, while we're talking about this, let me show you that. The join special, you can get the little stamp and cut and emboss machine. You can get the mini in boho blue which is going to be one of our new in colors and your choice of 175 dollars in product and the 63 dollars value boho mini for only 129 i was off a little bit and then the option two if you don't want the boho blue one you can get the white or if you don't think you're going to need the stamp and cut and emboss machine the mini or if you already have one you can still get your choice of $175 worth of product when you sign up for only $99. And that is our heck of a deal join special for just for January and February. Okay, now we've got, let's get this where you can see. And we're gonna see which way you can kind of tell this has a little bit more rounded end and that has a pointed end on this leaf. So that's going in there. And like I said, I cut mine apart. If you didn't cut yours apart, these two leaves would already be situated for you where they need to be. And then here's this one. I just had not done this because the last time I used the punch, it was for the designer series paper <clears throat> that already had this in there. Okay, and we're going to get close here because my I don't want to get my head in the camera and it's hard to get right over it. So we'll get these out of the way. And now I'll use our punch. This will be a lot easier. See, this would be the way you would plant it. Maybe even a little bit bigger piece so you've got more to hold on to on the edges. But that just happened to be my scrap. So we're going to get close here. Can you see how I'm kind of lining that up? and then kind of get it where you want it, partially close it. So you've got a hold of it. Make sure this is where you want it and punch. You could also punch it and then just stamp your little piece if you wanted to do that. But right now, now we've got another template here to use. I just didn't have mine handy. So I had to make another one. Okay, we're gonna tighten this up and close the latch. All right, we are moving along here, peeps. Now we'll go ahead and stamp the inside while we've got the little, this is our stamping pierce mat. You can stamp on it, you can do piercing on it. I would keep two separate mats for those two purposes because you don't want holes interfering with where you stamp. If you, if you use it for piercing ever, you're, you'll probably want to get a second one. And we used to do that piercing technique quite often and have not done that in a while. So we may have to try that again. Whoops, I opened the green. We have been using mint macaron, balmy blue, and petal pink because those are the colors in this particular sheet of designer series paper. Okay, and we're going to kind of go with this same layout because I don't want to keep y'all all day. Let's see if I've cut this piece down. Yes, so I've cut that to four by five and a quarter, which is the typical inside piece, unless you like it a little. I'm going to go ahead and do the green first, I think. So it'll be easier to get the Happy Valentine's Day done first. We're going to stamp that. Whoops. Move that up a little so you can see. And I kind of like putting it kind of up in the left-hand corner. I don't know why, but 
usually I do that and I think of my signature always being on the right hand side but you could put it right in the very center if you want however you like to do your cards it's your card you need to create it the way you want okay now we're going to use the balmy blue heart and I kind of put that right over where it fit right around the valentines so hopefully I can see well enough from this angle for that to work there we go balmy blue and it dries a little bit lighter so you can definitely see see what you're see the greeting and the heart okay i think we're ready to assemble i was i for one was ready to work on something besides christmas cards are y'all excited to be working on valentine's cards <laughs> Or have you already started? Are you waiting for this bundle to come in? So glad that customers can now order out of that catalog. It's it's wonderful to get to be a demonstrator because we get to pre-order and have access to everything in the catalog a month before the customers so that we have time to prep and get some samples ready to show y'all. So you kind of know what we like and what we can share and how creative we are with that particular suite. and. Hopefully it helps you make decisions about what you like and what you want to order. Because I do, as a reminder, I do sell all the products that we are using today. They're all in the Stampin' Up! mini catalog or the annual catalog. And I'm always happy to help you make decisions about what to order and help you maximize your value when you do that because you can if you get close to that hundred hundred twenty five dollar level you sure do get a lot of extra perks if you go ahead and join the team and you don't have to want to sell or anything you can just buy and get a discount so i'd love to chat with you about that if you have any questions it doesn't commit you at all to say you're interested in hearing more i'm happy to happy to share all right and you also get a hostess level you get hostess credit toward products if you order a certain amount so i always want to want to help you get there if you're close so you always just let me know if you have any questions about ordering you can go straight to my createwithkelly.com site and click on shop and it'll take you there i will go back on these videos and add supply lists i just i couldn't couldn't get it all done to add them early so yeah i don't it, that could be cut off but i don't believe it's not going to show so i'm not going to worry about it i'm just going to put this in here you want to make sure this will fold so get it up close to that score line but make sure it will fold. And that's why I kind of like using liquid glue so that if I have it a little bit off, I can wiggle it just a bit. Hopefully y'all can't hear that popping noise. That is like my knuckle. I guess it's arthritis or <laughs> whatever. Oh, goodness gracious. Getting old is not for sissies, is it? All right, we're going to line that up, like I said, toward as close to the score line, but not right on it, and make sure it closes easily. Okay, there we go. There's that part done. Now we're ready for the top part. Make sure you're gluing on the back. And yes, this is directional paper, and yes, this is upside down, but I don't since it's such a pattern i don't think it really matters but if you're going to use the off cut like this this is that's what you're going to get because you have it you have it right for the front flap so that means it'll be upside down on the this little inside flap but i really like i said it didn't bother me at all so i think it adds a lot to the card to have the color here and if you didn't get it exactly centered, which evidently I didn't, 
you're going to have to do the best you can at lining this up. Make sure it doesn't, if you're off a little bit like I am here, see? <clears throat> and off a little bit here. You don't want that to show from your front flap. So, and I think it's not that terribly obvious here. We may trim that just a little bit. I don't think, see, then you can't really tell that on the outside. This one is sticking out a little bit here. So, when you're doing it not on camera, not trying to make it where everybody can see everything, it's a little easier to get it lined up because I didn't have a problem on this one. You can see that one is a little closer, but it doesn't have to be exact. This is a handmade card, right? <laughs> okay. If you have a little end sticking up, just get that liquid glue after it and glue that down. Okay, we're close, peeps. I think we've glued all we need to glue there. Let's get our little bone folder after this again so it'll lay flat. Let's get all this mess out of the way so y'all don't have to look at that. Okay, got that. Now we really, really want this to lay flat. So really give it some pressure from the back, from the front. Okay. Now we're going to do the magic part here and figure out how to make this label be at the right spot for this to tuck. Because you want, it's got to be pretty low for you to be able to tuck this tuck this back in. So I would say start with your Stampin' Dimensionals and don't stick them down really hard initially. Let's see where my stack of those is. Right here. big ones okay and there are two sides you can tell which which side has the embossed and debossed there is a difference can you tell that that this is the back it wouldn't be horrible if you messed up and put it the other way but it's going to look better if you do it this way so we're only going to stick these at the bottom for right now kind of get it get that a little bit more in the center because you don't want it at the top to interfere with the tucking in part so we're just going to kind of look side to side kind of get that close to centered so I barely tucked them so if I have to move them I can okay so that works let me see if I doubled them here no. <clears throat> okay, and we may come in back in and add some on the sides too. I think I will just to just to help hold this secure. So I'm peeking under here, if y'all can see that. Now that I've got it where I think I want it, I'm sticking that side down. So I've got three here, and then I'm doing in the corners also, kind of these edges. So I basically have this whole portion here dimensional okay now in order for these colors which coordinate with the designer series paper the balmy blue mint macaron and petal pink in order for that to for these to pop against those colors see this doesn't really show up much so that's why we're putting the white label on and I do have it dimensional also this is not going to be an easy to mail card <laughs> And I'm going to do the edges and the bottom on this also because you're going to have the heart here. Let's see. I'm going to leave. Yeah, I've got room for the heart there. Just kind of don't want it to be like triple stacked there with dimensionals. So kind of just pay attention to where you're putting, putting the dimensionals. And it's really okay if this kind of goes flat on the top here because you're popping that heart up. So you just want some depth there. 
trying to get that even. And then we can just glue these flat. Or if you don't want them totally flat, flat, you can use a glue dot instead of using liquid glue. And then another option is to, if you aren't happy with the little white edges, which I think they're fine on this thing. Sometimes I might want to cut that a little bit better so it's more evenly fussy cut, but I think this is hunky-dory, so I'm going to leave it. All right, we've got two different little leaves here. We're going to just stick this with the glue dot. And we kind of what, what we, uh, I've heard one demonstrator say audition, and I really like that. Audition the pieces. Make sure you're getting them where you want them. Kind of line them up. I really kind of wanted this to look like, almost like the heart, as if the heart was a flower where it has the petals. The heart is the flower part, and then you've got the leaves with it. And then instead of this awkward <laughs> little bit showing here, then that's where I'm going to put this. So I kind of want to move that over just a little. You want to kind of, you want it to kind of flow. So just make the leaves kind of come up where you're looking at this and then brings your eye back in and goes back onto this heart. So this could be in an angle or whatever you want it to be. But I think that's pretty close to where I want that. So I'm going to get a clue dot for this top and bottom. And it's easier usually to take the embellishment to the glue dot instead of having to get it off on your fingers or onto your take your pick tool. And like I said, this gives it a little bit of lift without being a dimensional so that it's an even depth like with the heart. Okay, so the heart's going to be right. The big heart and the little heart are going to be raised up more. Okay. All right. See if we still like this. I'm still liking it. Okay, we're going to pop this up. And I'm just going to kind of pop it at the bottom right here. I'm going to put two, I think. I may not need that second one. We'll see. If I need to cut it and move it, I can. And I should have been a little more careful there. You can always trim your dimensional if you get it a little too close to the edge like I did. Just make sure and clean, your, clean that off the scissors right away because it likes to gum up otherwise okay we're going to put this little heart here make sure a dimensional is not showing from the back nope it's all good make sure this tucks like we want it to and it could tuck just under the heart if somebody well no not really not the way i did it so it's got to go there that has to lift up so probably you're going to have to give this to a card making friend <laughs> who knows how to make that happen or somebody you can explain it to or give it to them instead of mailing it to them and you can explain how to open it and close it because I think they're going to love it. Okay, here we go. I'm going to put that at a little angle and all done. We're going to use a little Wink of Stella on here to fancy it up a bit and a couple of embellishments and we'll be good to go. Let's get a little wink. And I'm just kind of making a little bit of a pattern there. Hopefully I have a good a good uh, wink of Stella here. I may have gotten an old one. It's kind of running out on me. But you get the gist. Just give a little glimmer here with that Wink of Stella. And you always want to have several of these on hand because when you need them, you need them, right? <laughs> when you got to have a little bling. Okay, hopefully you can see that on camera. Now, I'll show you on my original card, this card 
and with the those of you who purchased the country floral class to go from me we we ordered a different set of embellishments than it shows with that suite in the catalog because i just feel like the pink this is the one they suggested in the catalog that came with the suite but these are much pinker they're they're like a bright pink compared to this petal pink which has a little peachy in it so i chose the iridescent pastel gems which I felt like worked better. They say this is gold, but it looks more like the, the petal pink almost. So that's what I used on this card. I used this color that's the balmy blue and then this for petal pink. And I have already used up all my little ones. So on this one, we're going to use some of the blue. Since this is a blue card, this one... It has a little kind of blue and a little, it picks up a little blue and a little green. So we're going to use just those on this one. Or we can try to find one of the pastels that's not so pinky, but it's almost pinky and purple. So I think we're going to just stick to the, the blue ones today. We'll see what we think. I'm going to stick a little one there, which looks pretty. And these are the pastel adhesive back sequins, 160387. All right. And I think we'll put a big blue one. And like I said, this picks up the, the green and the blue. Let's see where we want this. I usually put the bigger ones kind of at the bottom. Hmm, huh, that might be too much. It's too much. I don't think we want a big one. I think we'll try one of these pinky ones. I'll try to find one that's a little kind of pinky and yeah, that one looks okay there on the pink. We could try a big pink one. Let's see if we like a big one there. If any of these are more, that's a little more pinkish. And not purple in there. Isn't that cute? So those do kind of work if you have those. And there are several embellishments out there which would work nicely. So, And usually I do three of everything. But I'm not sure I need it on this one. I kind of like the two. Do y'all have a... Oh, thanks a bit. I, I do like having a, a variety on for Valentine. You don't always have to have just red so that's that's fun about this paper it's kind of got both in there what do y'all think you want to leave it too or do we want to add a add a second one i mean add a third one somewhere i think the way i have that arranged i think the two works i'm a, I'm a rebel i know i know okay rebecca i'm glad you like the bling yep gotta have a little of it <laughs> Okay, I think we are done with this one today. Thanks, Andrea. I think so, too. I'm glad you tuned in. Thank you much for, for joining. Okay, I'm going to show you the other cards that are in the Country Floral class to go. If you've missed those, if you haven't seen them, I'm going to put those out. This one I have not done the tutorial on. I will be doing this soon. And this is a fun fold with the flaps like that. So you can see, Yvette, that the some of the paper does have red in it, but it does have the pastel colors. So those are really pretty. And then here's this card that I've already done a video of with the fun fold. Here we go. So this is part of that class. So if y'all are interested in, in purchasing the tutorial for all six of those, I can help you with that. And I'm also considering if I have enough of the paper, I would be able to do some more kits, class kits, if y'all wanted to buy the, the kits. If you missed the first go around that I've already ordered. I've already done the video on this one. I've already done the video on this one. So these three, now four, we've already done. We'd like two more. Here's another one with the bicycles. And I was kind of wanting this to look like a little awning of a, on a shop, but it's an easel card. Sits up like that. 
I thought that was cute. So I still have these two videos to go. And I think I'm looking at maybe Saturday mornings as a good time for, for folks to do those. Thanks, Andrea. Glad you, <laughs> glad you like these. If you're interested in a tutorial or anything, let me know. I'm happy to, happy to share. All right. I think that's it for these. And I wanted you to show, I wanted to show you a couple of others that are swap cards that I have received lately that if you missed the video previously, you might not have seen these. This is from the mini catalog also and the celebration catalog, the papers from celebration. And these alphabet dies are new. And Andrew, you may have the name of those. I can't remember exactly what that was. Let's see here. Who was this a swap card from? I think it was Inkin with, yes, Inkin with Dink, Dina Lanzendorf. I didn't put that back right. And then this one is from Amy Story. This is using some of that country floral lane paper with the cute hearts, Amy Story. We also have another set that's a desert, kind of a Southwest top look. And that is done by Sheila Palmer. That's in the new catalog. We also have this gorgeous die that goes with the fancy Flora paper. And it is Jaylen Wine, Winel, W-E-I-N-E-L, Winel. And then here's another one with the, the Country Floral Lane has both the gingham country gingham and the country floral lane paper packs of paper in that suite and this is using that country bouquet stamp set and punch isn't that pretty that is from Suzanne Taylor so those are swaps that I have received recently and then my card that I did for the swap has a totally different set of paper it is called whoops I missed part of my card fell out here it has this little card in here, and Rebecca showed me this fold. Rebecca Thomas, who just joined my team. Here we go. This has the gold fine shimmer paper that is, it has no texture to it. It looks like it would be rough, but it's really, really smooth. So this go wild, you could use anything. You can spell out somebody's name if it's their birthday with these alphabet dies. They're nice because they're narrow, so you can fit more on a card. But I have a little card within a card here for this one. And like I said, that's my swap. And it has soft suede and early espresso, gold foil, and lots of animal top patterns. Isn't that cute? Okay, so that's something to look forward to in the new catalog. I will switch it back over and we'll put our card out for today and switch us back here we go <laughs> thanks again for tuning in does anybody have any any comments or questions or anything i'm happy to help otherwise i will see you soon i i don't know if i'm going to go ahead and do another wednesday one or if i'm just going to switch i'm kind of thinking saturday mornings is a good time to do the live so y'all let me know what you think if i was prepared a little more we could have we probably would have started at 10 maybe 10 or 10 30 y'all let me know what you think of that time for me to do my weekly facebook and youtube lives and if you've missed any of my replays or you want to see the replays of these cards they will be on youtube at create with kelly pitts or you can look on my facebook page which is create with kelly or the you can join the create with kelly crew group so sometimes I post different things in the group than I post on the page. And then I love for y'all to put your samples on, on the Create with Kelly crew group. I would love for you to join the group and that way you can post all of it, anything. If I've inspired you with a fun fold or a card and you want to post one of yours. I, I know Rebecca's mom was here recently and she posted a card that she did. So we're excited to have you post everything in the, in the group. That's part of what is wonderful about the Create with Kelly crew is we are all interested in paper crafting. It's great to have a community of people who are interested in the same thing as you are. And we'd like to inspire and share and create and 
happy happy to be a demonstrator. So again, Kelly Pitts in Lubbock, Texas, and thanks so much for joining everybody. And Yvette, you're welcome for the cards. Glad you think they're cute. Happy to have you. And fun times ahead. Y'all watch for my classes. I will be posting those on my blog and they'll be on my calendar and all that. Working on the January ones right now. So we're going to be doing a stamp a stack with so that you can add to your stash or maybe your stash has dwindled a birthday sympathy get well that kind of card so we're going to have some simple ones with some of the new new papers all right y'all have a great day thanks again for tuning in bye-bye fun times ahead <laughs>